Hello everyone. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can get a model from Sketchfab into Care Panel. So let's get right into it. There are a few things you will need in order to complete this tutorial. Uh, first thing is Blender. We will use Blender to convert the format from Sketchfab into a format that Care Panel currently supports. Of course, we will need Care Panel itself. We will also need a text editor in order to edit some files that describe our tour. And if you want to spice it up, we have some plugins that will enhance the experience for the end user in Care Panel. So let's get started by downloading a model from Sketchpap. I like to search for photogrammetry. Let's see if we can get something. And another search term is polycam. We will use the GLB format. It uh, is. This. We will use the GLB format. It's a easy to understand. No. We use the GLB format because it has all the textures and the model in one file, which makes it easy for us to manipulate it in Blender. I prepared a folder on my disk, which is called Sketchfab Tutorial, and I'll put the model in, uh, in that directory. And that's all we need from Sketchfab. Let's go to Blender. I'm going to assume that you already have some basic knowledge on using Blender. If you don't, uh, the tutorial is pretty easy to follow, so maybe it will work out. If not, there are so many tutorials on Blender on YouTube, so feel free to check them out. We will delete the basic objects that are in the scene because we don't need them. And we will import our model in Blender. So file, import. And we're going to import the GLB file, which is located GLTF 2.0. This is the model that we downloaded, and we're going to import it into Blender. And there it is. To display the textures in Blender, we can go to the textures view. And now we can look at the model with the textures. Next step is to save our Blender file. So file, save as, in the same folder that we downloaded the model, and we will call it ramp. And we save. To do next is we are gonna unpack the textures from the model. We go to file, external data, unpack resources. And we take the second option, write files to current directory, override existing files. If we now go to our folder where we saved everything, uh, we will see that we now have the GLB, which we originally downloaded from Sketchfab. We have RAM and we have some textures. To create an OBG file, which KRPano can read, you go to File, Export, Wavefront OBG. And again, in the same directory, we call it RAM.OBG. Now, if we go to the directory, where we saved our original GLB file. We have a few extra files. We have ram.obg, the material for the object, 
and the textures. In order to use these, we're going to copy the OBG, the material and the textures to our to the virtual tour that we're going to use to display this model. So we copy. I'm going to copy this empty sample tour and I name it tour. And I'm going to copy these files in here. We're going to edit the tour now. We open tour.xml. And this is a pretty basic XML for displaying an OBG file. And we're going to replace the model name by our model name, which was RAM. And we save that file. Now we can open the tour, press start server. And we have the model in our viewer. The standard controls in Carepano are pretty basic when it comes to showing and navigating around the 3D model. That's why I want to show you two plugins that create a better user experience when navigating around the 3D model. The first one is model inspector plugin it allows you to use gestures and the mouse to navigate around the model a little better and the second one is the annotations plugin which allows you to create interesting points on the model and annotate them with some text to install them we need to copy the plugin files to our working folder This is our working folder and I already prepared the extras that we need to put in our folder. So we copy these files and we copy them into our tour. To use these files, we need to edit our tour again. And I already prepared the two pieces of code I need to paste into that care panel XML. We save. Now we can reload our model. And using the mouse, we can drag as we can before, but we can also use shift to drag the model around or up and down. We can use control to zoom in, or we can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in. You can also double click to go to a specific location and then the camera will pivot around that point that we just double clicked on. And that was the model inspector plugin. The second plugin is the annotations. And you can see for yourself what the annotations will do once we start configuring some. It basically allows you to put some hotspots on the 3D model. And when you click the hotspot, it will go to the view that where you created the annotation. And that allows for some nice interactivity with the model. And while I'm annotating this model, I want to say thank you for making it this far. The files that we have used in this tutorial will all be available as a download. A link will be in the description of this YouTube video. And I hope you have fun with converting your models from Sketchfab to Carepano. And I'll see you around. Thank you for watching.